Hello everybody. Um, this review is on the Michael Kors Soho in extra large in the cream color. Um, I I really <laughs> wish I wasn't making this video today, but I felt compelled to do it because I I was just so shocked at my experience. You know, not just with this bag, but with Michael Kors in general. Lately, I'm not really sure what's going on with their uh, quality control. But um, just to give you a little bit of a background on this bag, so I had initially gone to the to the to the store uh, because I had a return from a previous bag that I got for Mother's Day, and um, I had a credit after I returned the bag um, because I had planned on going back on the website to purchase this bag because this is the the extra large I was under the impression that it was only available online so I, I already went into the store thinking I'm going to return this bag and I'm going to get a credit and I'm gonna go online and purchase this bag but when I got to the store I realized that they actually do have this bag in stock at the store, the extra large. So I I asked for the store credit, I did the return, and then I went to look at the bags that were available on, on the stand. And I I understand it was it was Mother's Day weekend and I, you know, typically people um, tend to uh, purchase more and you know they didn't really have much of an inventory aside from the bags that were on display so this bag was available in this color there was one of this color and then there was there was a black one and then there was a caramel color one and I already have a black um, bag just like this so I I didn't um, I, I I wasn't looking for a black bag I initially wanted the caramel color one, but when I looked at the exterior of the bag that was on display, I I saw a few things and I honestly I I kind of brushed it off as these are display bags and you know people handling the bags and you know whatever people do when they you know they they people a lot of people tend to touch the display bags and i thought okay it's probably just uh, wear and tear from it being you know they're available for everyone to handle and touch so i noticed that on the caramel one there were a few like smudges and even a few scratches on on the leather because these are leather exterior bags and the white one or beige that was available no beige cream cream this is the cream one this one was available and it seemed to be in the best shape out of all the bags so me being impatient I since it was available at the store um, I decided to purchase the one that was on display um, initially I didn't see I did see there were a few marks where you know it was dirty but I thought I could go home and just with a baby wipe just clean it off so that was no big deal to me um, but I got home I unboxed it because the the lady there um, she she wrapped it up really nicely for me um, knowing that it was you know a replacement for a Mother's Day gift she wanted me to have the experience of going home and unwrapping it so that was really nice of her. It was in a nice box with tissue paper and, you know, in its dust bag and all of that. Well, when I got home, I, I started un unwrapping it and I immediately noticed on the back of the bag, there was a hole, like literally just a hole, a little hole on this corner. Uh, it, it looked like when uh, someone puts those alarms that they have like they put holes in in the and you know the, you know when you put one of the the store alarms it looked like someone had put an alarm on the bag and then realized uh oh i made a mistake they took it out and then it had a scratch so there was a hole and a scratch and i was like oh no so i took the bag back to the store 
um, the day after. I took it back the day after and I got another store credit and I went online when I got home and I purchased it online. The same exact bag, the same exact bag. So today I received this bag in the mail and brand new, um, it was, it, it, would, it had all the wrappers on it, you know, on, on, the, on the strap, on, on, you know, it had everything. Everything that a brand new bag that was has not been pre-owned would have. Like, it didn't look like it was a previous return or anything like that based on the wrappers and everything was perfect. So, initially, I didn't notice anything wrong with the bag. And a few hours ago, as I was transferring my wallet my you know everything from my from my handbag my previous handbag to this handbag i noticed that on the flap on the flap of the bag right here and i, I i'm pretty sure the camera is going to capture this but right here you can see that there's like a, there's a scrape or like a you know like the bag is chipped right here and you know the the leather underneath is like a like a gray color and there's like a big scrape and then there's a scratch so that was one of the things i noticed and that prompted me to continue checking the bag and as i started to check the bag i noticed that there's actually scratches all over the flap there's another one here there's a few on the back which are a little bit harder for the camera to capture but they're there right here right there um, and just all over I just started really looking at the bag and I noticed that just all over the bag there's there's scratches on the leather and the scratches are not just little you know where you can't know they are obvious scratches they are scratches that underneath have a different color from the from the cream color of the bag and so i'm just i'm disappointed because this is now the second time that i'm gonna have to go back and uh return this bag and at this point and and i i guess this is not just from this experience i guess it's from two actually three previous experiences with Michael Kors where I've purchased the bag and I've had to return it because it had some sort of an issue with it um, I had purchased a few months ago a, a bag called the Lita it was a beautiful bag I I purchased it on the on the website I get it in the mail and the it, it was very similar to this it was a flat bag the clasp here was crooked. It was crooked, it was obvious. I said, nope, I took it back. I, well, I returned it through the mail. I got my money back, I got a refund. And then, you know, the same thing happened with the bag that I initially had before I chose this one. It was a, a bag that it had a flap and the inside of the flap was microfiber. And every time I would open and close the bag, it created a, a like a, like a dent, like uh, not a dent, but like um, it would shave the microfiber. It, it was, and I and I realized that over time it would it would affect the the quality of of the inside of the flap. So you know, I just and then what happened to the previous one of this, and now this one, and so I'm to the point where I'm I'm going to go back to the store tomorrow to return this bag but i'm to the point where i don't think unless they have a, a bag in stock right there i don't think i that a bag that i can you know examine and and just make sure that there's nothing wrong with it i don't think i will be purchasing this bag again online um without seeing it first because i really do not feel like going through this again so i'm just i'm very disappointed um, I don't understand what's going on with Michael Kors quality control. I don't remember them having this kind of issues with their with their bags. I've purchased a few other bags from them previously that were perfect, but at the same time they were not like this this um, all leather type bags. They were canvas bags where defects are not as uh, noticeable. But um. That's, I, I'm not really sure what's going to happen 
uh, if I'm gonna get this bag again, but I figured I would review this because I, despite, you know, the, the the issues that I have, it's it's an amazing bag. It's a beautiful bag. It's so functional. It's just, um, I just wish I didn't have the issues that I have with it. So this is in the extra large size. I think that the the width, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm wrong, I will I, I will put all the specs in the description below. But I believe this is a size. 30, 30 centimeters across um, and it's very comparable to the um, it actually when I when I look at this bag it reminds me of of a cross between a Chanel bag and a Gucci Marmont the shoulder bag so it's it's very it's a beautiful bag it's a beautiful bag it has a back pocket right here um, that does have like a magnet a magnetic closure and it's huge it's a huge pocket and it has this beautiful strap that you can use it as a crossbody or as a shoulder shoulder strap. And then the flap, the opening of the flap, you just push this down and it opens. And it's got this, you know, the same leather on the flap. And then on the inside, it's got a, it's got two main compartments. And then it has a zip pocket here. And then it has a zip pocket in the middle and then it has a like kind of like a little slot for you know like a card holder or something here in the front um and the inside is just you know i think it's just uh i don't know what that material is called but it's not it's not leather or microfiber i'm not really sure what it's called but it's a gorgeous bag it's a gorgeous bag it's very functional i was excited to use it maybe i i'll still be able to to get another one um, that I can actually look at in the store before I buy it so I don't have this problem again um, But yeah, that was my review. I will put in the link below um, In the description below. I'm sorry. I will put the link to the bag on the Michael Kors website And I will also put the specs of the bag because it is a great bag I just I don't understand what's going on with with the quality uh, control of these bags like I said it didn't look like it was a returned bag it based on the wrappers now I don't know if um, when when uh, people return bags if they rewrap them um, and then be so I don't really know what they do but it to me this bag looks like it was previously purchased and used based on the scratches it just it just it just seems like it's it's been a, it's been used before based on all the scratches that i see on it so um so yeah it's it's a gorgeous bag and i i hope that i can go to the store tomorrow and they have it in stock and i can really look at it and make sure that the next one that i buy doesn't have any issues but if not i think that's the end of the road for this bag for me and i think i'm just going to get my credit and maybe buy something else something maybe in canvas or um maybe like a few slgs i don't really know but thanks for watching